One of the most defining limitations of our current artificial intelligence models is that after they've been trained on a huge data set, they generally don't learn from their future experiences. This is something which the most prominent AI researchers consider to be the bottleneck which differentiates humans and AI. But just recently, the leader in the field of AI, Google's DeepMind, has come up with a way in which artificial intelligence can actually improve on its own without manual training and almost in an exponential way. And artificial intelligence learning and improving on its own sounds like a doomsday scenario out of a science fiction movie, but it looks like it will become a reality very soon and give us the initial promise of what AI was supposed to be. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you one of the newest developments from DeepMind, what applications and advantages it already has compared to regular AI models, and finally, what this could mean for the future of the field of AI. Most humans excel at learning how to learn by utilizing prior experiences to inform the learning processes for new activities. Endowing AI systems with such skills, on the other hand, remains difficult since it requires machine learners to learn update rules, which are generally manually adjusted for each job. Meta-learning is a crucial study topic for enhancing the efficiency of AI agents since it explores how to enable machine learners to learn how to learn. One method is for students to learn an update rule by applying it to prior stages and then assessing the resulting performance. To fully realize the promise of meta-learning, both the meta-optimization problem and myopic meta-goals must be addressed. To address these difficulties, a DeepMind research team has devised an algorithm that allows meta-learners to educate themselves. To learn its update rules, a meta-learner must first assess these update rules. This necessitates using them prior to the assessment process, which might result in excessively large computing costs. Previous research believed that improving performance after several applications of the update rule would result in increased performance throughout the rest of the learner's lifespan. If this assumption is not satisfied, meta-learners will suffer from a short horizon bias. Furthermore, improving the learner's performance following updates may overlook the learning process itself. One promising approach is meta-learning or learning to learn. The idea here is that the learner gains reproposable knowledge across a large set of experiences, and as this knowledge accumulates, it allows the learner to adapt more and more quickly to each new task it encounters. There has been rapidly growing interest in developing methods for meta-learning within DeepRL. Although there has been substantive progress toward such meta-reinforcement learning, research in this area has been held back by a shortage of benchmark tasks. In the present work, DeepMind aims to ease this problem by introducing Alchemy, a useful new benchmark environment for meta-RL, along with a suite of analysis tools. Alchemy is a Unity-based single-player video game. A first-person view of a table with a number of objects on it, including a set of colored stones, a set of dishes containing colored potions, and a central cauldron, is shown to the player. Stones have different point values, and when stones are added to the cauldron, points are collected. By dipping stones into the potions, the player can change the appearance and thus the value of the stones, increasing the number of points that can be won. However, alchemy also involves a very important catch, the so-called chemistry that decides how these potions affect stones changes every time the game is played. A set of targeted experiments must be performed by a skillful player who has played and learned from previous games before to discover how the current chemistry works, and use the results of those experiments to guide strategic action sequences. Learning to do that, over the course of many rounds of alchemy, is precisely the meta-RL challenge. A meta-optimization approach like this also introduces two bottlenecks. First and foremost, it is curvature. The meta-objective is limited to the same sort of geometry as the learner. Second, there is myopia. The meta-objective is essentially confined to judging performance inside the k-step horizon while ignoring future learning dynamics. To address these problems, the proposed method incorporates two key characteristics. To begin, it employs bootstrapping approaches to include knowledge about learning dynamics into the aim in order to reduce myopia. Second, the meta-objective is defined as reducing the distance to the bootstrapped goal in order to manage curvature. The suggested algorithm's main notion is that a meta-learner may successfully learn to learn from itself by matching future intended updates with fewer steps. According to the researchers, their suggested method creates the meta-objective in two steps. 
It creates a goal based on the learner's new settings. In this example, targets are constructed by repeatedly updating the learner's parameters, either using the meta-learned update rule or another update rule, over a certain number of steps. The target and the learner's new parameters, which are a function of the meta-parameters, learners are projected onto a matching space. Euclidean parameter space is a basic example. We can adjust curvature by using a separate pseudo-metric space. The kullback liebler divergence, for example, is a popular option in probabilistic models. The meta overall learner's goal is to decrease the distance to the bootstrap destination. To do this, the team employs a new bootstrapped meta gradient to inject knowledge about future learning dynamics without increasing the number of update steps to backpropagate through. As a result, the BMG can accelerate the optimization process and, as demonstrated in the video, ensure performance increases. Extensive experiments were carried out to evaluate the performance of BMG over standard meta gradients. These were accomplished through the use of a conventional reinforcement learning Markov decision process task, learning a policy that maximizes the value given an expectation. BMG achieved significant performance gains on the Atari AL benchmark in the tests, establishing a new state of the art. In the few shot situation, BMG also improved on model agnostic meta learning, showing that the study has the potential to open up new avenues for efficient meta learning exploration. In 2020, the UK government commissioned a research on artificial intelligence and UK national security, which emphasized the need of AI in the UK's cybersecurity defenses to identify and mitigate attacks that demand a faster reaction time than human decision-making can provide. The issue is that the goal is that as AI-powered security concerns grow, so will AI-powered preventive solutions. We risk being in a never-ending race against bad actors unless we build ways to safeguard ourselves from AI threats. This raises the question of how we might make AI systems secure. If we employ AI algorithms to protect against numerous security threats, we must guarantee that the AI itself is safe from malicious actors. When it comes to privacy, major corporations and governments are already being chastised for eroding human rights. With so much personal data available online now, AI algorithms can quickly construct user profiles that allow for very accurate ad targeting. Facial recognition technology is also quite advanced. Individuals may be profiled in real-time using cameras. According to reports, several police agencies across the world are using smart glasses with face recognition software to swiftly identify sought or suspected offenders. AI is becoming better at hacking security systems and cracking encryption. One way this is happening is that malware is evolving thanks to machine learning techniques. Through trial and error, Malware may learn what works and become more harmful over time. Newer smart technology has been identified as a high-risk target for this type of assault, with bad actors having the ability to cause automobile accidents or congestion. As we become more reliant on internet-connected smart technologies, the danger of disruption will affect more and more aspects of our everyday life. Once again, the only true answer to this threat is for anti-malware AI to beat criminal AI in terms of protecting humans. Many beneficial advancements are being made as artificial intelligence grows in sophistication and capacity. However, powerful new technology is always at risk of being abused. These threats have an impact on nearly every aspect of our everyday life, from privacy to political security to job automation. The first step in minimizing the hazards of artificial intelligence will be determining where we want AI to be utilized and where it should be avoided. Increasing study and debate on AI systems and their applications is the first step toward limiting their abuse. Logical backward chainer, which if you give a pattern, it tries to find things that approximately or probabilistically match that pattern. And so if you're asking a question, some way or another that question is turned into a crisp or probabilistic pattern matching query that goes against that, that whole knowledge base. I mean, if someone makes a great AI for say recognizing patterns in, in, in videos or, or say for importing data from uh, accounting spreadsheets or something. You want an easy way for that to feed knowledge into an abstraction engine like, like OpenCog, yes. right? And so Singularity, it makes an easy way for different AIs written by all sorts of different people to connect together. And I mean, if someone else makes a different reasoning engine, 
with different strengths and weaknesses relative to open cog. That can be there in the singularity net also. Then some application can consult two different reasoning engines and decide which answer it likes better. Or one of the reasoning engines, if it gets stuck halfway through doing reasoning, it could ask a question of a different reasoning engine that could help it get unstuck, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of potential to having different AIs able to compete with and consult each other within a common network. So, what is your opinion on this completely new kind of artificial intelligence? Do you think that learning is a necessity even if the models were already trained on a dataset that's larger than anything a human could ever take advantage of or is this another dead end in the path to human-like intelligence? What else do you consider a bottleneck in the most common current artificial intelligence models? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.